I'm Jim Norman, product manager for Williams Digital Pianos. When it came time to refresh our line, we knew we wanted to create a truly world-class collection of digital pianos with an unparalleled library of sounds. So we focused hard on finding great source instruments that would feel inspiring for all players. We play everything from classical, funk, rock, and jazz. The following section shows just how we did that. Uh, the, the piano is one of the hardest instruments to record. Uh, what we did, we, we sampled every note chromatically. Uh, we surrounded the piano with, with 12 microphones. So there's microphones in the rooms, the microphones are right over the harp. I, I, I think we successfully captured the spirit of the, of the instrument. It was truly the nicest instrument I've ever played in my life. It was a handmade Italian piano that's uh, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful instrument. I'm Joel Clift. I'm a pianist. I'm a piano professor. Uh, I love to play a huge variety of music. What was your impression of the grand piano sound? Well, I, I think when you listen to a grand piano, one of the things you're looking for is clarity in the top end, but a certain amount of strength or beef in the low end. And if you listen, it's really got a great balance of those two. Some bright clarity on the top and richness on the bottom. <laughs> really thick and resonant and still ringing. Beautiful sound. Uh, this is a 1973 Rhodes suitcase piano. Uh, it was rebuilt by Kenny Rich in Van Nuys, California, and then we did further modifications to improve the dynamic range by putting Shore 90 grommets in the entire harp right before the sampling session. And the piano really came alive after that. We're very happy with the way it sounded. <laughs> There's many different kinds of Wurlitzers. They started making them in the 50s and they stopped in the 70s. 140Bs were, again, the apex of the technology. This is a Hohner clavinet designed and built in Germany. It's kind of a, an electric harpsichord, but as everything gets translated to modern music, it becomes the funk machine. This is an early 60s Hammond A100. It's still fairly stock with no major modifications. Uh, it's been recorded, it's been gigged, it's traveled, uh, it's seen a lot of action, and it's one of my favorite instruments. I'm in disbelief that my sounds are in this machine. Fantastic, I cannot wait to see what you guys will do next. This is, this is truly remarkable, I'm, I'm blown away, I have nothing to say. <laughs>